किया Merith Hagawala Amor Handrain, popularly known as MGR, was an Indian actor, filmmaker and politician who served as the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu for 10 years between 1977 and 1987. He is a cultural icon in the state and is regarded as one of the most influential actors of the Tamil film industry. He was popularly known as Makal Tilagan People's King, as he was popular with the masses. He was a philanthropist and a humanitarian icon. MGR was born in Kandy, Ceylon, to Amlakath Golan Minan and Merith Hasatyapama from Palakkad, in the modern-day state of Kerala. In his early days, MGR was a devout Hindu and the devotee of Lord Sri Mugang, and his mother's favorite god Lord Sri Guru Vipan. After joining the DMK, he turned a rationalist. MGR's first marriage was to Chittara Kalambadavi, also known as Dhangamini, who died early due to an illness. He later married for the second time, to Satyanandavati, who also died soon after marriage due to tuberculosis. In 1965, MGR married for the third time, this time to VN Iyanaki, a former Tamil film actress. Iyanaki divorced her husband, Kanapathy, to marry. Handrain made his film debut in 1936 in the film Sati Leelanvati, directed by Elisar Dungan, an American born film director. Generally starring in romance or action films, MGR got his big breakthrough in the 1950 film Mantharik Mary, written by M. Karan and Ivy. Soon he rose to popularity with the 1954 film Malakayan. He acted as hero in the Tamil film industry's first ever Jivakala movie, the 1955 Alai Babavan 40 Thiragalam. MGR was a member of the Congress party till 1953, and he used to wear KH. In 1953 MGR joined the Dravidaman the Trukhazgan, DMK, attracted by founder C. N. Anadrai. He became a vocal Tamil and Dravidian nationalist and prominent member of the DMK. He added glamour to the Dravidian movement which was sweeping Tamil Nadu. MGR became a member of the State Legislative Council in 1962. At the age of 50, he was first elected to the Tamil Nadu Legislative Assembly in 1967. After the death of his mentor, Anadrai, MGR became the treasurer of DMK in 1969 after Methoval Karananidi became the chief minister. The actor and politician MR Ahai and MGR had worked in 25 films together. On January 12, 1967, Rahali and a producer visited MGR to talk about a future film project. During the conversation, MR Raha stood up and shot MGR in his left ear twice and then tried to shoot himself. After the operation, MGR's voice changed. Since he had been shot in his ear, MGR lost hearing in his left ear and had ringing in the ear problems. These further surfaced in 1983 when he had kidney problems. When Sin Apodeva paid his first visit to see MGR at the hospital after the shooting incident he paid MGR in advance for MGR's next movie. After getting released from the hospital and finishing Arasaka Tele, MGR acted in Deva's movie Vibatui against doctor's advice. Due to the operation, MGR's speaking parts in the movie Kavalkaran were reduced. This was the only movie in which MGR spoke with old and new voices between scenes. MGR was acting in the film Karvel in 1967 opposite J.J. Alithar when the shooting occurred. Shooting ended just a few days before the 4GR was shot. The bullet was permanently logged in his neck and his voice damaged. Within hours of the shooting, some 50,000 fans had gathered at the hospital where MGR had been taken. People cried in the streets. 
for six weeks, he lay in a hospital as fans awaited each report of his health. From his hospital bed, he conducted his campaign for the Madras Legislative Assembly. He won twice the number of votes polled by his Congress rival and the largest vote poll by any candidate for the Assembly. In 1972, DMK leader Karen Nidhi started to project his first son MK Methu in a big way in film and politics, around the same time MGR was accusing that corruption had grown in the party after the demise of Anna Rai, and in a public meeting, asking for the financial details of the party to be publicized, thereby enraging the DMK leadership. Consequently, MGR was expelled from the party as per Karen Nidhi's plan. Upon his ouster from DMK, Ramor Handrain floated a new party which he called Anadrevat among the Trukherzgan, Etnk, later renamed All India Anadrevat among the Trukherzgan, I Etnk, the only powerful opponent of the DMK. Once he became Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, he placed great emphasis on social development, especially education. One of his most successful policies was the conversion of the midday meal scheme, introduced by the popular Congress Chief Minister and Kingmaker K. Kamaraj, which already was encouraging underprivileged children to attend school, into MGR's nutritious meal scheme in the government-run and aided schools in Tamil Nadu by adding Subtuumbai, and nutritious sugary flour dumpling. This scheme was at a cost of Rs. 1 billion and was imposed in 1982. A little more than 120,000 children of the state were benefited. He also introduced women's special buses. He introduced a liquor ban in the state and preservation of old temples and historical monuments, ultimately increasing the state's tourist income. He set up a free school for the cinema technicians' children in Kadambakam called MGR Primary and Higher Secondary School which provided free midday meals in the 1950s. In October 1984, MGR was diagnosed with kidney failure as a result of diabetes, which was soon followed by a mild heart attack and a massive stroke. He was rushed to the Dolan State Medical Center in New York City, United States for treatment, undergoing a kidney transplant. Despite his poor health, he did contest the assembly election, held later that year while still confined to the hospital, winning from antipathic. During the election, photos of MGR recuperating in hospital were published, creating a sympathy wave among the people. MGR returned to Chennai on February 4, 1985 following his recovery. He was sworn in as Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu for the third consecutive term on February 10, 1985. The next two years and ten months were spent in frequent trips to the United States for treatment. MGR never fully recovered from his multiple health problems and died on December 24, 1987 at 3.30 in his Remivram Gardens residence in Menokkam after his prolonged illness. He was 70 years old, just a month away before his 71st birthday. His death sparked off a frenzy of looting and rioting all over the state shops, cinemas, buses and at the public and private property became the target of violence let loose. The police had to resort issuing shoot at sight orders. Schools and colleges immediately announced the holidays till the situation came in control. The violence during the funeral alone left 29 people dead and 47 police personnel badly wounded. This state of affairs continued for almost a month across Tamil Nadu. Around 1 million people followed his remains, around 30 followers committed suicide and people had their heads tonsured. After his death, his political party, the All India Anagdravat among the Trukherzgan, split between his wife Yanaki Ramor Handrain and J.J. Alanita. They merged in 1989. 
In 1989, Dr. N.G.R. Home and Higher Secondary School for the Speech and Hearing Impaired was established at the erstwhile residence M.G.R. Gardens, Remagaram, in accordance with his last will and testament, written in January 1987. His official residence at 27, Arcode Street, Tinegar is now the MGR Memorial House and is open for public viewing. His film studio, Sethia Studios, has been converted into a women's co- Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Footprints for more videos.